excited. Um, I have in my hands an incredible instrument. This is a beautiful um, Jimmy Vaughn signature Stratocaster made by Fender. Um, I absolutely adore this guitar. and This is not my guitar. <clears throat> this guitar was loaned to me by my good friend Stanley Mendiola and uh, he is the proprietor of Rocking Horse Guitars. He um, is also uh, sponsored by uh, scattered Abroad Guitar Works, and there's a pickup company too. I can't recall the name of it, but I'm sure that <clears throat> he will remind me. Um, he's a blues player in the Milwaukee area, and uh, he's, a, he's a good friend of mine. He's worked on several of my guitars. He, he does fantastic work. So if you're in Wisconsin and you need some work done on one of your guitars, even if you're good at what you do, take it to this guy for a second look. He's, he's fantastic. He's based out of Menominee Falls. Um, but anyway, this is, a, this is the gift that... Uh, it keeps on giving a Stratocaster, three single coils. Now this guitar is wired up differently than most Strats. Um, it doesn't have the hum canceling in the middle and bridge, that fourth position. Um, it actually is kind of out of phase there. I don't know exactly. Jimmy Vaughn had this weird wiring schematic that he wanted to use. Anyway, not really my thing, but thankfully all the other positions are just like normal. So I'm gonna be spending most of my time in the neck and middle for this little demo here. I call that the two position. Some people call it the four position, but as far as I'm concerned, the one closest to you is one, two, three, four, and five. Some people go backwards. I don't know why, but um, the two position is beautiful. It's chunky. It's it's uh, sort of glassy. Um, so I'm going to try to get some of that out of this. I'm just running straight into my Fender Deluxe Reverb amp. Um, I'm watching. I'm going through a chorus pedal too, and I have a I have a, uh, a loop station here that I'm using for a couple of the tunes. So hope you enjoy. Stick around for some good tunes. Um, some of it I'm just messing around, and some of it uh, I've kind of rehearsed a little bit. But uh, yes, please stick around. There is good tunes on the way. So thank you for being here, and hope you enjoy this beautiful Strat that Stanley let me borrow. Um, I will provide links to his uh, guitar service in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
enjoyed. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this guitar, getting to know it a little bit, getting to uh, sort of get the feel for it. Um, it's a really nice guitar, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to play it. Even though I'm only going to have it for a few days, it's, um, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you to uh, Stanley very much. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, if you have a Strat, get it out, stick it in one of those in-between positions, and just have some fun. Um, I'll be back later uh, this weekend with hopefully some, with another uh, Guitar Hero uh, installment. I'm, I've done two so far. I want to do David Gilmore. And I want to possibly do Stevie Ray Vaughan if I'm feeling particularly uh, froggy. And uh, I'm hoping to uh, bang both of those out. But I may not do Stevie Ray just because I don't care who you are. I don't think that it's an easy or simple task to try to uh, show what he does. He, he's he's a, a brilliant guitar player. I played a Stevie Ray song a little earlier, but I didn't do it like him. Um, nobody can, but, uh, I may do both. I may do Gilmore and Stevie while I have this guitar on hand. So anyway, thanks for coming and uh, hopefully we will uh, see you later this week.